Right. Hi, everyone, and welcome to our webinar on secure personalized video projects. You're here to explore the importance of security and compliance in today's digital and complex landscape, especially when it comes to personalized video. As you know, personalized video is a powerful tool for engaging audiences and driving results. But with the increasing amount of data involved, it's crucial to protect your brand, your customers, privacy, and your organization's reputation, actually. In this session, we'll discuss why security matters, how to mitigate legal risks, and also how personal is committed to providing a secure and compliant platform for personalized video creation. Now, before we, we dive into the details, let me give you a quick introduction. I'm Josias de la Espada. I've been working in the field of marketing and engagement for about 20 years or so, with a focus on personalization and automation. This involves data. Everywhere, <laughs> in fact. Every week, I closely work with project managers, CTOs, account executives, legal and compliance teams in relation to video personalization programs. Now, as the CEO of Personal, I've witnessed firsthand how information security has become a top priority for organizations earlier in the process, even while choosing a vendor to assist them with video personalization software and or services. Since 2017, at Personal, we specialize in helping organizations engage with their busy audiences through personalized video experiences without concerns about having previous experience, scalability, and of course, security. Now, with our expert team on flexible software, we help organizations in different industries, from financial services to education, and in the end, we help them leverage the power of personalized video to drive higher engagement. So whether your organization is looking to increase brand awareness, drive customer engagement, or improve maybe employee onboarding, Personal has the tools and expertise you need to succeed. And you'll see how in this case, in this session, from a security and information security basically perspective. And one of the key areas that drives more concerns from organizations when considering or already executing personalization projects is security. These three fields, video, personalization, and security, are new to many stakeholders that in the end participate either you know, creative minds or project managers, account executives, legal and compliance even teams, they participate, they, they collaborate in different ways in the execution or conception of video personalization programs. And for, for, the, for many of them, all of this is new. We understand that protecting your data is just as important as creating engaging personalized video content. And this is why we are having this session today. Here are the three main topics you are going to learn more about today. So why security matters in video personalization, how to mitigate legal risks in personalized video creation at scale, regardless of the volume, a thousand individuals maybe, or maybe 500 contacts, 500,000 contacts, or a million of them, it doesn't really matter. And then how personal ensures compliance with industry regulations. If you have any questions, I believe the best way to, to handle them today is if you contact us. So you can email us at help at personal.com. Help at personal.com. Personal with an I. Okay, let's, let's start. <laughs> you might be thinking, why is security such a big deal when it comes to personalized videos? Well, let me tell you, personalized video often involves collecting and processing a lot of personal information, personal data. 
from names and emails or maybe phone numbers to preferences and behaviors. This data can be highly sensitive and it can be a viable target for, for hackers. And that's like the obvious part here, right? So they are many, 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 many <laughs> uh, people with really bad intentions trying to to uh, to damage organizations in different ways. And obviously this raises concerns. However, most organizations think about data protection in terms of the obvious concerns of being hacked, especially when it comes to their personalized video software, whether you are already working with a vendor in the industry or maybe your organization is one of our clients already. So imagine you are protecting your home from a thief. You installed maybe a strong lock on your front door and a security system to somehow deter intruders. But what if you leave the back door wide open? Well, <laughs> even the best security measures won't matter if you are kind of neglecting your internal processes. Does that make sense? So it's more like this. You have your internal processes that could be at risk. And I'll share some recommendations in a moment to avoid certain things from happening. And then, yes, we have hackers everywhere, every day, trying to damage organizations in different ways. And this can be your organization, and this can obviously be our organization. But again, there are two sides here, internal processes and your people, and then we have also hackers. Now, in my experience, many organizations think they are taking data security into account when choosing a vendor. But they often overlook the risks associated with their own internal processes. For instance, they might maybe be worried that someone unauthorized could see the contact information linked to a data-driven video by accessing the video's metadata. This could be email, this could be maybe gender, this could be any type of information associated to a video, and then the metadata associated to those videos. The easiest example could be an email. They could have avoided this by maybe using an anonymous ID that only makes sense within their CRM instead of using contact information in the first place. So you could have a personalized video like this one here. And yes, you know the name in this particular video, you know that this person is going through a hard financial season because he's behind mortgage payments. However, if there is no data associated to like metadata that could link this individual with the video, then there is no way someone could know who this person is, especially taking into account that thousands or hundreds of thousands or even millions of videos could be created by a single, single organization. All right. So if no personal identifiable information or contact information is used in the first place, there is no way to link back to that individual. So a best practice here, and I'll share more later on, is simply using some kind of ID that only makes sense on your end instead of the video, or instead of the email uh, ID or telephone number or similar. And there are other measures I'll, I'll explain in a moment that we take into account by default and there are other measures like the one I just mentioned that are optional, which would basically depend on, on what's the best process for, for you or for your organization. So in the end, th they might be worried about maybe the vendor accessing a CSV with data for bulk video creation. 
I'm talking in this case, potentially your organization and the personalized video vendor you, you choose in the industry, let's say personal or company. But the reality is that this data is shared in many cases by email with agencies that lack security training and also lack certified information security processes like ISO 27001 or COC2, or even worse, they store this data on their laptops, laptops or even in some kind of personal storage system. And all these are bad practices we do not recommend unless you have systems in place that are constantly encrypting this information or you have secure, a secure way to share this information with uh, your agencies, vendors, and so on, which we strongly recommend. Therefore, whether you are collecting data from a CSV file to make personalized video in bulk or integrating with a personalized video platform like Personal to trigger these videos automatically from a CRM or similar system, it is crucial to have robust security measures in place at every step of the process. Again, there are two sides here, your internal processes, your people from creative teams to marketing teams, communications, HR, etc. And then they are people that have bad intentions. Both things need to be taken into account and most organizations would take this side here into account and will not take this one here into account. However, we often see a bigger danger for in most, most, most cases, let's say, for regular teams here. Therefore, beyond the immediate consequences of a data breach, such as financial losses or legal penalties, the impact can be far reaching. Breaches can disrupt business operations, damage customer or employee trust, and lead to increased churn. Therefore, it's essential to consider the long-term consequences of neglecting data security when it comes to video personalization, but I would say just to any marketing activity or any communication activity, especially through digital channels. For example, employee training is crucial for preventing data breaches, but also the different steps, because you don't have to, to go through a data breach process so that your data is exposed. You could also, as I mentioned, have bad practices internally when moving data from point A to point B that will just expose that information um, even if in the, in the first place no one had a bad intention, let's say. So it helps to educate employees about data security best practices and reduce the risk of accidental breaches or even the, just the accidental move of data or just leaving the data where it shouldn't be anymore. Also, obviously, things like phishing attacks or unauthorized data sharing. Additionally, it's important to stay up to date with emerging security threats. As technology evolves, and this is really important, new vulnerabilities, I will say that word, vulnerabilities arise. Therefore, keeping informed about these threats and implementing appropriate safeguards is essential to protect your organization's data and your video personalization program. Because in the end, you need to keep engaging with your audience. And personalization is the way to do, to do that, to make that happen. Therefore, in order to be able to personalize content like videos, emails, landing pages, calls to action, etc., you need to have security measures in place. And also the right partner that will support you in that process. Successful personalized video projects require anticipation. And in a few minutes, you'll learn about the different tools we put at your disposal for this. Now that we understand the importance of security, let's talk about the legal risks 
involved in personalized video creation. As you probably know, there are a number of data privacy laws in place, such as GDPR and CCPA. GDPR, that's the General Data Protection Regulation. It's an European Union law that applies to any organization that processes the data, the personal data of EU residents. It imposes, let's say, strict requirements for data security, consent, and accountability. So in this case, for instance, we are an European company, personally it's an European company, and by default, we, we are regulated, let's say, by the GDPR, among other, other, other laws, obviously. Then you have the CCPA, as another example, the California, California Consumer, Consumer Privacy Act. And it is basically California's law that gives consumers more control over their personal data. It requires businesses to disclose what personal information they collect, allow consumers to opt out of the sale of their data and provide a mechanism for consumers to request the deletion of their data. Now, it's important to note that data privacy laws exist in many countries around the world, including Australia, Colombia, and for instance, South Africa. These laws in the end may have different specific requirements, but they all share a common goal, which is trying to at least uh, trying to protect the, the privacy of individuals. Engaging with your audience through personalized video is no different from doing it through an SMS or an email campaign. And I want this to be clear. So many organizations think that when they create personalized videos, they have to have extra security measures and security is critical. However, in our opinion, you should have the same type of security measures when it comes to any other type of content you share with your audience, employees, customers, clients, consumers, <laughs> partners, investors, students, regardless of your audience. Does that make sense? So you still need to have a solid legal basis for collecting and processing their personal data. This means that in the end, obtaining consent from the individuals involved or having a like <laughs> the right reason or, or like a legitimate reason for processing their data such as fulfilling or a contract or protecting their vital interest should be always key. Personalized videos can be a powerful tool for improving the user experience, the customer experience, employee experience, and then because of that engagement, but well, you need to have the right measures in place. But the same concept should be applied to any other form of communication with your audience. It's essential to have the appropriate legal foundation, in our opinion, and also because that's what the, lays, the, the law says as well, to ensure that your personalized video campaigns are compliant with data privacy laws and that you are protecting the privacy of the different individuals you target with these communications. Does that make sense? Another key aspect is or would be flexibility. And this is one of the main reasons why the majority of our clients choose us as well. So at Personal, we understand that security and compliance are top priorities for our clients when leveraging both our personalized video software and our managed services to create personalized videos in bulk or as part of automation workflows. For example, Whenever there is a new customer in your CRM with certain segmentation criteria, then a personalized video is automatically created. That would be an automation workflow. Because of this, we take a multi-layered approach to ensure your data and your customer's data, your reputation is always protected. 
are always protected, and your personal video campaigns adhere to industry relations. Some things will be or will depend on our platform, our service, and other things on the measures our clients, your organizations, for instance, takes, or how you leverage the flexibility personal provides. Let's see how. Personal is a proud ISO 27001 certified company. And maybe this is the first time you hear about this. If you are on, on a security, legal, or compliance team, this is your your everyday <laughs> terminology. But for the rest, let me just explain what, what, what is uh, ISO 27001. This internationally recognized standard ensures that we have a robust information security management system, also known as ISMS, in place. This system details our policies, procedures, and controls for protecting your data and also to make sure we have the right processes in place so that that happens. If you are in the US or in, in North America in general or even the continent in America, the uh, the equi equivalent would be uh, like for ISO 27001 would be SOC2, more or less. Both standards require rigorous audits and demonstrate a commitment to data security. ISO 27001 is more common for European companies and is more strict for certain things, while SOC2 for US companies. An ISO 27001 certified software company provides mature organizations with several significant advantages, and I'm going to mention a few of them. For instance, enhanced data security. Robust security measures would be maybe like companies that implement a comprehensive set of security controls to protect uh, your data, your customers, employees, etc. data. And this includes encryption, access controls uh, to both physical and digital places, let's say, or, or properties, regular audits. For instance, we are audited throughout the year uh, by by the uh, certification a certification body, and also by a consultancy company. Um, and also even incident response uh, plans. You also reduce risk uh, of, of breaches. So when, when you work with an ISO 27001 certified company, you or your organization significantly reduce the risk of data breaches, which can in the end have a devastating uh, consequence uh, because you have standardized processes in place and you have third party eyes going through those processes to make sure things are done correctly. Also in terms of the standards, uh, in the end, this certification de de demonstrates de demonstrates uh, compliance with international security, security standards. And this can be crucial for organizations that operate in highly regulated industries like financial services, insurance companies, hospitals, and so on. Or maybe organizations that need to meet specific compliance requirements, even if it's not like like a legal requirement, but still it is required by your legal and or security and or compliance teams uh, in your organization. Also, you have simplified audits. Working with a certified company can streamline compliance audits um, as they are likely to have the necessary documentation and processes in place. Even when you like in the in the vendor selection process, so if you have to, yes or yes, work with a personalized video software company that is already certified, that narrows your, like the search processes, uh, process down to just a few companies in, in the market. And one of them is personal, for instance. Customers are increasingly concerned about data security. They 
reports show that they are they want personalized experience but they want to make sure that their data is protected and this is critical because they do want a personalized experience about 76 percent of them or so would prefer uh, if you deliver that type of experience that that comes from your brand the brands they want to trust but they and they are okay they are okay sharing this information with your organization so that you can provide this type of experience if your organization makes sure everything is in place their data is protected that you're going to provide the experience and the security they need to keep trusting your organization also from from a, even from a cost effectiveness perspective so in the end iso 27001 certification or the certification pr promotes a proactive approach to security which can help prevent costly data breaches and incidents and also it accelerate your vendor selection process it helps you know from day one quote unquote what is in place so you, you don't have to invest resources or internal resources trying to understand how this or that organization does this or that because those things have already been checked even certified by third-party bodies as well. By working with a certified company, your organization can leverage their the expertise, let's say, of the partner you choose in this industry in terms of data security because they are already trained, like we are already trained, and we we know what to what to take into account and therefore those are the things that you will also find in our documentation in the processes we recommend obviously it is up to you to take our recommendations or not um, and some things are going to be mandatory when working with us as well okay and this is critical when we when you work on scalable processes if you have automations in place or if you have, if you use a CSV even to automatically create personalized videos, personalized landing pages, personalized interactions with software like Personal. So working with an ISO 27001 software company like Personal offers mature organizations a host, I would say, of benefits, including enhanced data security, improved compliance, enhanced trust and reputation, and cost effectiveness uh, in terms of from a security perspective and scalability and flexibility and you'll see in just a moment how L let me cover how personal ensures compliance with industry regulations and flexibility is is part of what we do and how we do things so there are certain things that uh, are in place by default so that we provide the experience you need and the experience your audiences need customers employees and so on and there are options that are like a lego you, you choose what to use and how to use them and how to adapt them based on the needs your organizations your organization has so in the end personal offers the option to choose a custom location for video rendering databases and application servers what this means at a practical level is that if you are a company for instance in the UK your data then is going to be hosted in Europe in the UK unless you want to host the videos or software automatically creates in a different region and you see other options in a moment Similarly, if you are a company in the U.S. and you want everything to be hosted in the U.S., you have that option as well. So that level of flexibility is important because every organization is different. Okay, and this way, for instance, if you are if you are, let's say, a French company or a German company or a U.K. company, and you know you want you want to make sure the data won't leave the EU with personal you have that option also at a practical level in terms of ssl certificates this is basically what encrypts the, the data that comes in and or out all personal websites and products use 
secure SSL. So this is secure socket layer certificates. And these certificates, in the end, what they do at a practical level is that they encrypt all information sent between you and our platform, safeguarding your data. In fact, Personal requires all content uploaded to the platform to be secured. And the way you do that is with a valid SSL certificate. And in fact, we do not support on purpose some certificate that are out there in the market because they do not pass our, our standard, let's say. This ensures that your content is encrypted from the source offering an additional layer of protection. By default, personal hosts your videos on Microsoft Azure, uh, which is a leading, a, a leading cloud platform, enterprise grade platform, and a, has been a trusted provider, let's say for many years. And they do offer a robust security uh, platform um, and robust security measures, let's say, in terms of content hosting. You also have the option to use Amazon AWS 3 with a bucket from your organization with your custom options, or we can also customize a bucket for, for you. This allows you to leverage your organization's existing security protocols for video hosting or request a custom configuration uh, to our team. You can also use our API to host the content wherever you want, basically, with your own protocols, your own measures, and so on. Something that is also extremely important is that in the end, personal safeguards your videos and assets by using secure and anonymized URLs. And here's an example. So if I come to this video here, as you can see, this URL here does not have um, any type of sensitive information or anything like that. So the content, like the URLs our system generates, are always anonymous URLs. Some vendors, for example, in, in this industry would, would allow or would have a personalization tokens in the URL, like names or even emails or things like that. And we do not support that practice because it puts um, in danger, let's say, your audience's data and obviously your own organization. That's why all URLs in our system are always protected and are always anonymous URLs, basically, with no personal identifiable or anything like that information. So we automatically anonymize all file names as well, including file extensions. So files in our platform do not have an extension files in our system the moment they... So if you have a file like, this is my mp4, uh, this is my video.mp4. We will automatically anonymize that file by removing the extension and also by changing the name of the file. And this is also another one of, I mean, there are many measures we, we are, we have in the platform by default. And this is one of them. And uh, I believe we'll, we'll have another session where we go like in detail over all those measures. Also, instant data deletion. So once a personalized video is rendered, all temporary media assets, like for instance, um, a video intro that is specific for a persona, or maybe a file like Hello John or something like that, any file, any asset is immediately deleted from our platform, even if we have to reuse it. Okay, so this way we make sure that we do not host any file more than what we need. So basically the file is processed, is used, and is immediately deleted from the platform. This ensures that no raw footage, for instance, or source file are stored on our servers. Also, things like logs are, are deleted automatically from the platform. 
Also with personal, you can easily delete all videos and their associated metadata with a single click or through our API. Once deleted, this information is, is permanently deleted, permanently removed from our systems, and there is no way to recover that information. Now, there is something important to, to know here. We have two infrastructures, generally speaking, what we call the standard platform and what we call the enterprise or custom platform. Our standard platform does offer infrastructure redundancy. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Uh, it's redundant. And, and we have, we have, um, security backups and all those things in place. Secured backups and so on. And that's in our standard platform. However, in our enterprise and custom environments, this is optional. And the reason why it is optional is because some organizations do not want any, any, uh, any redundancy, redundancy, they don't want redundant information, even if, if, if it is for, uh, like for a positive impact in terms of any type of, you know, disaster, natural disaster, etc. Uh, data protection is more important in those cases. That would happen, for instance, in industries like financial services or insurance, hospitals, and so on. Okay. So with personal, you also have that type of flexibility. All right. Now, there are other, other, other things that are critical that are also related to the flexibility we provide from a security standpoint. For instance, multi-account. So personal offers multi-account functionality, allowing you to create separate accounts for different teams or departments or even brands within your group of companies, for example. Or if you are an agency, the same applies. You have, you, you want, you can have one master account and you want a separate account for every client you have. With personal, you can do that. And we have a system, secure system for that in place. These accounts are not mixed accounts. They have nothing to do between each other, which also increase, increases the, the level of protection. In fact, each account has its own credentials and, and credit allowance, promoting data segregation and access control. Personal offers also allows you to control what metadata is stored with your personal videos. So they are, they are, there is metadata that is, is mandatory in the platform. For instance, a file name, but then you decide if you want to have contact information or a first name, last name, etc. that is not visible to the end viewer, but is attached to, to like in our databases to the content so that you can, you can manage that through automations or, or when, when downloading content from our platform or when using webhooks, secure webhooks and so on. And what this means at a practical level is that we give you the choice. We give you the flexibility to choose what information you want attached to your videos so that then you decide how to manage that internally with or without automations. Also, you can choose to embed our video player, personal player, or or not. Maybe you want to use your your, your own video player or your agency want to, wants to use a different video player. That's perfectly fine as well. Uh, if you choose to use personal, however, you are provided with a secure video player that you can embed on your website and you can leverage personal secure hosting for your videos, landing pages, even our widget uh, without relying on cookies or things like that. Also, you since we since our platform automatically gener generates real video files at scale, you can download the personalized videos or choose your own video hosting, or maybe you want to host it on on an FTP or whatever you want, because these files are yours. So you can define how you want to proceed from that perspective as well. So we give you different tools so you control, you choose how to manage these projects. Also, in, in the end, there you know, the, one thing is creating the content and how the content is hosted. But something also, something different is how your users and how the end viewers access the content. So personal offers, for instance, a multi-factor authentication. That's 
um, MFA maybe, if that rings a bell. And we, we use in, uh, a one-time password, OTP, which is optional. And it is an extra layer added to your account user and account password. And in the end, with an OTP and a one-time passcode, um, the user needs to provide a password that is sent by email to the email registered in that account when the user tries to log in uh, with a user and a password. So it adds an extra layer of security. Also, if, if you are using our webhooks, which most of our clients do, so that whenever a video is automatically created by our software, then another system, maybe a CRM, an email tool, etc., is updated in real time with data from our platform so that they, you can maybe manage communications with your audience to send an email, an SMS, a WhatsApp message, etc. Those webhooks can also be protected by a password. This way, apart from being encrypted, you add a password protection, which means that you have an extra layer of security. And this is critical, for instance, if you are in banking or in you know, financial services, or even in um, if you have specific compliance requirements in your in your industry and, or region and so on. Also, when, when using Personals API, both the template ID and secret are required for certain operations in, in the platform. So you have, let's say you have the user's password, the user's one-time pass, uh, uh, passcode or password us also. Then you have the template ID, template secret, then you have the video ID, then you have the video files uh, ID, because videos can have different versions, even if they're created for the same, the same contact, and then you have the media files ID, and all of those have different IDs and or credentials to securely access uh, uh, or have access to, to them. In the end, by implementing these security measures and offering flexible options for, for data handling, our platform, Personal, empowers you to create Im impactful personalized video campaigns while maintaining compliance with industry regulations. So our approach is that we give you a set of, of like standardized options in the, uh, standardized, um, tools and measures in the platform that you cannot remove to protect you and or your audiences and also to comply with with our certifications audits and regulations and so on but also you have different options in terms of where you host applications where you host the media content uh, that is used to create the videos uh, the media content that is generated by our platform. You can choose or not to use our video player. You can choose or not to use, or you can use or not the, our landing pages. You can, you can choose what metadata you want to attach to every video, personalized video automatically created by your software. You can choose where to host the video content. Even you can request specific configurations if we, if you choose uh, personal to host the content on your behalf. You can choose when this content is deleted. You can choose how to delete the content. So when you work with us, it is about flexibility because every organization is different. And by doing this, we make sure that we adapt to most scenarios out there and that we adapt to either your legal and or security and or compliance departments within your organization require. So in the end, there are many reasons why for, from a compliance and security perspective, personal is a good, it's a good partner. And there are more things that I don't really have the time to, to cover today. We'll cover them in, in different, uh, in future sessions. 
But in the end, by choosing personal, you're not only investing in a scalable personalized video software or platform, but also in a partner committed to your data security and compliance. Our flexible approach, robust security measures, and dedication to client satisfaction make our organization, our software, and, and our team an ideal choice for organizations just seeking to create personalized video campaigns and automations and so on with confidence, without worrying about having previous experience, because we are here to walk with you, to assist you, scalability, because it doesn't really matter if we are talking about big volumes or small volumes, if you only need to generate a thousand personalized videos or if you need to create 500,000 personalized videos or 2 million personalized videos. We have different options for you and all of them are going to meet um, robust security measures, let's say. And you have the option to, to, to make personal adapt to you depending on your needs as well. And also security because we are an ISO 2701 certified organization and we provide an infrastructure both in the US and in Europe with custom options to adapt to most data residency requirements. So if you're ready to learn more about how personal can help your organization increase engagement through the flexibility organizations need and the assistant, assistance most team love, why not reaching out? If you are, if you are looking for a personal as your partner, go to personal.com slash contact and we'll be more than happy to, to take the time to understand your requirements, your needs. If you are one of our, our clients and you need more information about security, please let us know. Feel free to, to reach out to your, to your account manager here at Personal and we'll do our best to, to walk with you, to continue walking with you and help you understand the different options and even have conversations with your legal, security, compliance, IT teams so that you are always covered. And regardless, we are here to, to walk with you. If you have any questions in general, please feel free to reach out, go to personal.com slash contact and we'll be happy to help you. This is all for, for today. We'll have more sessions about this covering security, compliance, best practices, uh, also helping you, helping you understand the different security measures our users at a practical level have. Some are again mandatory, other are others, other options are optional. <laughs> Uh, but in the end, it is about helping you offer a secure experience to your audience so that in the end, we help you in improve their experience. And then because of that, we help you boost engagement with uh, when engaging with uh, or when interacting with your customers, employees, partners, students, with your audience in general through video personalization at scale. You're away. Have a great day, take care. Thank you for taking the time. We are here to help, bye.